Hugging, petting, and snuggling with a pet cat may have heart healthy benefits. Several studies have shown that actually petting your cat, so probably taking the time to sit down, relax, pet your cat, take that moment of time out, actually helps to lower people's blood pressures. Will certainly add to our heart health. University of Missouri feline geneticist Leslie Lyons can't say for sure, though, if there are heart healthy benefits for cats. If the cat's seeking out uh, the experience, it is probably improving the cat's health as well. But we don't have any data to show that 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 we lower a cat's blood pressure. But her work inside what's referred to as the lion's den at the University of Missouri College of Veterinary Medicine is closer to improving heart health. Where we were looking for the cause of hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. So that's a type of cardiac disease that's very common in cats and also uh, common in humans as well. And one of its signs is the thickening of the left ventricle of the heart which is especially noteworthy this February during American Heart Month. Hypertrophic cardiomyopathy and cardiac disease is a very important disease in domestic cats. And then also we know that this disease occurs in humans too. So here at Missouri, we want to promote One Health and One Health includes helping our cats, having our cats help humans as well. And we know this is an important aspect of human health care. So here we see where our research on the domestic cat and studying the domestic cat's heart will help us understand human heart health as well. In humans, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy is considered a leading cause of sudden cardiac death in younger people. It's estimated that one in every 500 people have the disease. Lyons is a Gilbreth McLaurin Endowed Professor of Comparative Medicine. The University of Missouri Feline Genetics and Comparative Medicine Lab is her research laboratory. This is where critical groundwork for the improvement of cat and human health is accomplished. Genetics of the cat translates very well to human genetics because we actually know that the genome arrangement of the cats, the genes on the chromosomes is actually very, very similar to the organization that we find in humans. So we're hoping that important things like gene regulation that we find in the cats will also be translated to how genes are regulated in humans as well. And we use that to leverage being able to do translational medicine. So the research in Lyons Lab can lead to new standards for diagnosis and new treatments for this heart disease. We're trying to set standards of here's all the information that you would need to help prove that a DNA mutation that we find is pathogenic. Uh, for the actual disease that we're looking for. And so we happen to pick a bunch of heart disease mutations and we're working through those now. And we'll be publishing on, here's what we think about the current disease mutations for hypertrophic cardiomyopathy in cats. And this can have life-saving benefits for humans too. Finding the gene, finding the mutation. So sometimes that helps us define undiagnosed patients that we find in humans. So not all the genes and mutations are known for HCM in cats or in humans. So when we find one in either species, we compare to see if we have found the same thing. And then certainly treatments that we might use in domestic cats may translate to treatments that we would use in humans and vice versa. The lab has a website, the 99 Lives Project for the promotion of heart health. You can donate to us under the 99 Lives Project at the University of Missouri. We hope that people that love their cats will go to our website and help us to continue doing good research.